Alex, I'm in front of an express pharmacy right now. It's one of several places where you can get vaccinated. And once you get vaccinated, they give you one of these. It's a vaccination card to prove that you got the shot. And they're becoming quite the hot commodity, so much so that people are resorting to producing fake ones. By folks doing this, this is really putting you know, public health at risk. Kern Public Health says they haven't received many reports of vaccine card fraud, but that doesn't mean it isn't a big issue. It's an idea that has spread on social media as of late, leading people to create false cards, which public health spokesperson Michelle Corson says is dangerous. Because that individual now is going to walk around and present themselves as though they have been fully vaccinated. And obviously, if it's a false card, that is not the case. A tipster sending 23ABC a screenshot from a local Facebook group, one user posting a link asking, need a vaccination card to thwart increasing tyranny? Download one here and print on cardstock. We went to the link provided, and it was, in fact, a blank vaccination card that looks like the one you get after a shot. There are discussions about, you know, what are these vaccination cards going to help me be able to do that I'm not currently able to do. Guidelines recently released by the California Department of Public Health say in the orange tier, which Kern County may be in as soon as next week, indoor activities are allowed if all guests are tested or show full proof of vaccination. Capacity in that tier would be limited to 150 people indoors and outdoor gathering capacity would be increased for vaccinated people as well. Corson says this and other ideas have made the cards more valuable. She also says this form of vaccine fraud is yet another reason not to post your personal vaccine card on social media. You're only empowering them by giving them more information um, that would be on your card with regards to when your, your lot number, the type of vaccine you got. Uh, that's all information that can be used. Now, many might be asking, how much trouble can you get in for participating in this kind of behavior? After speaking with law enforcement officials and with public health, it appears that there is no trouble that you can get in, at least at this point. Alex. And Austin, since something like this can be misplaced or, of course, lost, what is a good way to make sure that you always have it with you? Yeah, so they, of course, recommend not taking a picture of it and posting it on social media for privacy purposes and other things. But they say it is a good idea to take a picture of it to save it for your own records. That way you have it in case you lose it. Alex.